Christy. I made um, some embellishments um, using these paper straws. They are easy to find in any dollar store or maybe like Target, Walmart in the party um, section or even um, you can order from Aliexpress too. I'm going to put links in the description box if you want specific colors you can find over there. So let me show you what I made using just these paper straws. Okay, there will be a tutorial at the end. Look, I made these frames in different sizes. For example, this little one, and it looks so cute and puffy. And look, for example, um, this one can be used in a wedding album. You can put like um, pictures and frame them, or you can make even like this double and if you put this one in a six by six you can make it like this see and you can even um make a mat and you can use it this way or this way see it's super fun and it's addictive <laughs> i made so many <laughs> and it was super easy to make them let me show you the samples for example this card was made with um, one uh, one straw only, okay, and it's this one right here. And you just uh, make a little square and put an embellishment. So this is one sample. Then I love shaker cards. And look at this. This is another card that I made. And for this one, I use four straws because this is bigger. This one is a shaker card, see? I had this uh, beautiful paper, it was uh, from Michael's, and I just added this um, greeting that says happy birthday. And I used the technique of my friend Rosa Gomez. She is Rosa's creative way in YouTube, and she discovered how to make shaker cards using tool. I don't know if you can see, but this one right here on top is tool. And it's almost invisible and I love it because any card that you make with a tool, it shakes very well, see? And when I do that tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made it, okay? And I also made this tag and I had this tag for a long time and I just wanted to do something with it. And when I discover how to do this, frames I love it because I I like the heart that is printed in here I'm going to put glossy accents later so I made a frame and I put a key inside so it's a key to my heart <laughs> and look very simple but it looks so cute and I just decorated it with the stuff that I had in my stash so right here I had to make two frames of the same size and I also made this shaker box using three. Can you see one, two, and three? And for this one, I used this kind of um, paper straw. And for each one, I used one. So I used three paper straws to make this big one. And as you can see, um, it has these rhinestones. And these are thick. That's why I had to put more um, straws and make it bigger. And I also had to paint it, see? I had to paint it with white and then I added glitter and after I added the glitter, I used the vintage distress ink and distress all around so I could match the color of the flower. So this is another project. Here is another sample on how to use the frame. I made a traveler's notebook for my friend, Anna. She is Scrap Memories by Anna FG. And I'm going to show you this traveler's notebook in another video. I just wanted to show you how I use the paper frame, see? And the last thing that I made is this double mat that I made for a mini album. This one, it's not glue on the mini album because I'm going to put it in another album that I will make. But I just wanted to show you how it looks, the double mat. See? So beautiful. You just have to embellish with a little flowers or some die cuts or something. And 
even though if you don't put like these die cuts it looks gorgeous if you have some uh, paper straws that um that doesn't match with your project you can paint them you can add glitter and distress and, and many things you can put just so so many things but i love it that they are puffy and they give dimension to any project see so now let's start the tutorial now you will need paper straws you will need um tacky glue and you will need scissors a pencil and something to roll the straws okay it can be a roller pin or can be a, a bottle um a glass bottle i don't recommend you to do it with a die cutting machine because they are going to be super super flat like this okay and it's not going to have dimension but what happens when you do it by hand you can have them like this see and that's the difference it looks more puffy and i think it looks nice than just flat but but if you need something really flat you can use your die cutting machine and just flatten them there okay so now let's do it you have to do it one at a time because they move okay so i'm going to get one paper straw and you are going to put it straight and the direction of the pin had to be across okay like 90 degrees don't don't do it on the side no okay because it's going to curl so you have to put them um across your um pin now what you do is to begin just press a little bit okay so you can see it flattens and then you are going to roll your pin don't put too much pressure okay it's nothing that you had to do very very flat that's why you had to just roll like this and as you can see it curls up so you are going to turn to the other side and do it again but just lightly okay just lightly and now it's ready so we can work with it okay as you can see it's not too flat and it looks nice okay dimensional now another warning is that you cannot do it by hand and press and press and press because it's going to wrinkle too much okay and also can you see the wrinkles okay and also will unbend more so it's something that you can do but i don't recommend you you have to use something that make it make it straight and smooth see the difference so you have to use something to pressure all the way along okay now in order to cut a straws you are going to decide the size of your uh, frame for example let's say i want something really small and tiny like this okay um it, this one is like a square so i use just one straw and i just cut in four pieces okay but now i want something bigger okay and i will show you how to do the first one and how to put the second one okay so i'm going to use a different size and you just have to measure the size that you need and cut the straws okay for example if i want something like this big okay i measure the straw and i say okay i'm going to do something like three or four inches and you just cut and then if the white if you want uh, two or three inches or square you have to cut another piece in this case i'm going to use um these two long ones and these two short ones i use two straws for this one so i'm going to make a frame like about this size okay and i'm going to now show you um what is next after you have the the straws you are going to 
use a pencil okay and you're going to overlap this one okay you overlap and you're going to make a mark with the pencil okay see right here the mark i'm going to cut from here to the corner okay and when it's done i'm going to put this one inside and see if it if it fits okay it had to fit exactly if you see that you put it together and it's not a 90 degrees can you see it's not a 90 degrees then you need to cut a little more it had to sit and make a 90 degrees okay now after you put the, this one in here you can make a exactly 90 degrees right then it's right now the next step is super easy because with this pattern you cut the other one the other short one so you just put on top a line okay with the other one and then cut cut from here to the corner now turn this one and you're going to do the same on this side okay you just align put them together and then cut see now the other side okay align these two and these two and then cut and you have the top and the bottom ready okay and now i'm going to use the glue the tacky glue and i get this side and i'm going to put only on this corner okay see like this imagine like a triangle there okay then i turn and again on this side okay. and we're going to put one side and then you're going to put it on top and make sure you have 90 degrees and press and you have to hold it for at least one minute okay now let's do the next one and you just put a little bit of glue right here too okay like in this side right here make a triangle and then the bottom part and again you have to hold it and wait like a little bit about one minute i'm going to leave it like that because then we can press to get all the the four corners together now i'm going to put um glue in this one in both sides okay right here right here and also at the bottom okay now this one i will put inside and now i'm going to make sure it's inside okay and you have to be careful to put them together okay and press and you have to put them like 90 degrees remember okay and press and then the other one okay then the next one make sure it's inside and the next one just make sure that the corners are together and then let it dry okay if you want you can press a little more and make sure it's straight so this is dry and it's ready now i'm gonna show you how to measure so you can make a double mat like this okay for that i'm going to use this lighter color and i'm going to use my pencil 
and I want the mat like in the center of the first row, right? So I'm going to um, start with the top and the bottom. So right here, I'm going to measure just half, okay? Can you see? Just halfway of the straw and make a mark. So I'm going to cut two of those, okay? And for the long part, it's going to be less, okay? It's going to be smaller. Not in the center, but a little bit less, okay? So I put it like this, and instead of being in the center right here, it's going to be like about here, okay? And you will see why, because this, when inserts on the top, this one has some thickness, so this one doesn't need to be all the way to the um, center of the straw. So I'm going to cut these pieces, and I'm going to make another frame, and you will see how it looks. And here are the frames. This is the first one, and this is the mat that it's done. And as you can see, if you place it, it is in the center. And if you want to use the other way, it's going to have the same um, dimensions around. And it's going to look like this. Okay, so I like this way <laughs> better. So what you do is you decide first, um, because sometimes the glue uh, gets out of the, the frame. So you decide if you're going to glue this way or you're going to do this way, okay? So if you do this way, you have to put uh, glue carefully at the edge and then just um, leave it over there and then center this one on top and it's going to be done, okay? But if you do this way, you're going to put the glue right here, okay, in the inner center right here. And then you're going to place this one on top and you will center it, okay? Just looking at the edges and then press and it will be done. I prefer to use hot glue when I uh, finish this one. This is how it's going to look at the end, see? And you can do any size that you want. You can do a smaller, bigger, and it looks very, very nice, right? So now I'm going to show you um, the other one with more windows. So first you decide the size you want, and then you um, see if you want um, half and half, or you want um, bigger and smaller. So it's up to you. you, you can decide the windows, okay? The window size, right? So for example, I want to do mine um, uh, more wider. So I made one bigger and the other one um, smaller on the side, see? And I'm going to divide this one in two, so it will be, it will be like this, okay? See, one bigger and then two uh, kind of square, right? Um, so, can you see the difference? This is more elongated on the top, and this is more like ver um, horizontal, white. So I'm going to show you how to glue this part in the center. Okay, basically you do two windows, two frames. Uh, the size you want and you're going to put side to side so you have the size that you want for mini album page or card or anything so then okay you are going to um make the division with an extra one that is the same size as the top and bottom okay for example this one is not it's not the the, the size this one is a little bit bigger so I have to cut right here and make um, even with the top, okay? So I'm going to cut this one right here, okay? So this one now is the same size, you see? Now to put up here, as you can see right here, I cut like a triangle on, the, on both sides. Okay, and I just glue this one that tips on the side of the frame. Okay, and it's going to look the same on the other side. 
So what you do, okay, if you want, you can use a pencil and mark right here. And mark right here where you're going to start cutting, okay? I'm going to use this pen, okay? And I'm going to mark right here. And right here. And then I'm going to cut. If you want, you can mark the center as well. Okay, so you can go from here to here. And from here to here. And you will have uh, like a spear, okay? And this one will fit in the center. Okay, and you have to make sure it fits all the way through. As you can see, this one is kind of short. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little more. And I cut right here, but not on the top. Okay, can you see? See? Just make it a little bit bigger. So it can go all the way through the side of the frame now this is the correct size see and then you just mark the center in glue okay you can glue right here a little dot right here with a uh, tacky glue and put this one in here and press until it dries or you can just open this one and then put some glue here with a brush or something thinner and then just glue this part up here okay and you are going to do the same thing in the other side you just um cut the side i'm going to do it just eyeballing the size okay i think it is uh, and then you can do like this okay and in this case you're going to put the glue here at the end and try to open so it doesn't smear all the glue here and just put in the center and then hold it until it dries and then your double frame will be done and you can make a double frame triple frame the size you want because you can use the size of the straw and you can um, use many straws and make something big see so maybe you can do a frame like this, this long and divide in three. It's up to you. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this shaker box, okay? As you can see, it has acetate and I just made with two frames, okay? So mm, you will need two of these frames and they have to be the same size, okay? Then you are going to make the background you want and I got a piece of paper um, and I cut it the same size and I put some stickers and I'm going to put some um, sequence to make a shaker box so I can add this one into a card or a mini album, okay? So you have this ready and uh, the first step is that you're going to glue this one on top of the base, okay? And I'm going to use hot glue. And make sure all the sides are glued very well, okay? If you see that there is an opening or something, you have to add a little bit of hot glue on the side, okay? And, okay, so you don't um, have a gap for the sequences to um, fall. Okay, this is done. Now you will need a piece of acetate and I uh, recycle this one from packages and you're going to glue the other frame on top of the acetate. And this is the easiest way. I'm going to show you how, okay?
state is glue to the frame. Now you are going to clean very well because everything is going to show if you have some hot glue in there. Okay, you have to clean it before you attach to the other part. And also you can cut the extra, the excess right here if you see that something is bigger. Now it's clean. I already check all the sides and I clean the top and the bottom. Um, you can add anything. Uh, if you have like um, seed beads, sequences, rhinestones, uh, and other stuff, you can add it. And you first you're going to test if it moves, okay? If you, you put it together, okay, press and see if it moves, okay? So this one's going to be fine, okay? See? Now, if it's something um, bigger and thick, you have to add another frame so it, it can have more depth, okay? So this is fine. Now the sequences are inside and I'm going to put glue here and add this one on top. how it looks at the end see it looks like a shadow box right and if you um want to decorate the sides because this one with hot glue looks like this so you can add maybe a piece of paper or maybe um trim or a cord or something i'm going to put this one in a mini album probably and add a cord like a tassel on the side and you can test the um, paper straw with um, tacky glue, hot glue, and double-sided tape and see which one it glues better and then you can use that. See? I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one. Now we're going to make the shaker card and I'm going to show you how to put that tool, okay? I have um, this black mat so you can see. Uh, you need a piece of tool, okay? You see? And um, for example, I'm going to use this frame, okay? And I'm going to use this picture, okay? For do the shaker. I will put it in the center of the tool and I will need a uh, hot glue. And I'm gonna do this side because um, I'm on the camera and I'm going to put a line of um, hot glue. Okay, and I'm going to pull straight, okay, and this is um, low temperature, so you can press, okay, if you want, you can use a piece of silicone, um, I show you that uh, you can make your own uh, stick with silicone. And I have the mat right here that can help you so you don't uh, damage any other surface. So right here, okay, you are going to put a straight again. And you are going to add um, the hot glue again, one line. And using the silicone mat, this is a um, pot holder. So it's better because you can just put a straight and turn this one down and you just press like this okay or you just can do it with your hand and tap okay after it, it it's um drying don't do it when it's super hot <laughs> i i always um use low temperature because uh i like to uh, move the items when i'm working and so I can like, so I can have some time to um, just place them in the right <laughs> position. Okay, now clean your tool from any, okay, hot glue. And you're going to cut the excess of this side only, okay? Okay, now I'm going to show you on the black one. As you can see, we have the sides. Okay. 
you have to clean very well now i'll do it up here on the black so you can see okay now i'm going to um do this side right here okay and i'm going to pull the tool and again press it okay and i'm going to cut this one in a bit when it dries well and now i'm going to do this side and every time you do one side and the next one you have to pull the tool okay so it goes like straight and i'm going to pull this time and make it okay very very straight so it can be like paper okay on top so now that this side is done i'm going to cut the excess and you just have to just cut like this at the edge be careful don't cut the the part at the front just cut the excess right here see and then this one right here this side too And after you cut everything, make sure you, you won't see any excess on this side. Okay, can you see there is something right here? So you just clean it because then after you just glue to the to the back, then you cannot um, um, redo it. Okay. Okay. Now this is how it's going to look the front see and all the tool is glue at the back so i will use this one this uh picture and i will put the frame on top but i'm going to um i'm going to um use the silicone now because with the silicone mats <laughs> um the hot glue doesn't stick and you can put the glue here okay and if it's any excess then you will be able to pull so you can use maybe a, a scratch of paper or something to put it underneath if you don't have the silicone mats okay um but don't put it up here because if this one is too too small then you will see the um, the glue in there so that's why i'm going to put a picture I'm going to put a sequence, okay, in the center. Not too many because you want them to move, right? So I think this is enough, okay? And just put them in the center. And now, when you are ready, you are going to just put the hot glue. Just put it in the center and press and you are done. Now make sure that it's nothing open and your shaker is done. See and you can put in a card. Um, let's try in the back of this card. Look how neat and we just use a straw to make this beautiful frame put the picture and then you can put up here happy birthday and you have a nice card see a shaker card this is the end of the tutorial and thank you very much for watching my videos for your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel have a blessed day everyone bye bye